so I'm an August Leo. Oh, cool. oh as a like, about to ask you, with a very like perfectly quaffed mane, of course. I, no. I don't know if that has anything to do with my astrology. Well, it's the lion, it the lion's mane, oh. and it's all about the hair. For yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm dating a Scorpio. That happens. I was just about to say that. It didn't seem like it in the mixes of the websites like that. We're supposed to be a match. Exactly. What do you do when your astrological signs are just don't supposed to connect? We like to myth bust that actually, because we believe any two signs can make it work. Um, it really is. We call about, it the secret of distance. Yeah. You know the angles between any two zodiac signs creates a certain energy, and you know not every sign likes it easy. Leo's like a challenge, you're, you know, the lion. You like to hunt, and Scorpios do too. So you are in this power couple dynamic. Sounds yeah. good, right? So you could have an easy match and get bored, or you could have one that's a little bit of a challenge and that keeps it spicy and interesting for you. It's definitely a challenge, spicy yeah. and interesting. Yeah, <laughs> you're a fire and they're water, so um, it's like you got to keep the balance of those elements. If you put too much fire... The Scorpio evaporates. If the Scorpio comes on with too much of that, they put out your fire. So, but perfectly, you can make steam, if, you know, get it <laughs> nice and steamy if you want. <laughs> when, did, when did you start learning, uh, when did you all start learning about the secrets of astrology and the, the power of, of, mm -hmm. of that? Well, it started when we had a paper route delivering the Detroit news and had to put those coupons that you put inside the newspaper. We'd have to open it up to the middle and that's where the horoscope was. So we would always read ours and we were like 11 or 12. And then college started dating and we're like, oh gosh, someone, you know, someone gave us a little piece of astrology software. We could start to look people up and like, this makes so much sense. Oh my God, why am I wasting my time with suffering when I have this little map. So we started doing it for our friends and got obsessed and it went from there. What's, what's your trait that's most aligned with your, your astrology? For us personally? Yeah. So we are Sagittarius, so we're fire sign like you, but we also, we have a lot of Scorpio planets, the moon. So in a lot of ways we are very much about like going behind the scenes, mystical things, but because we're Sagittarians, we like to teach about it and share the knowledge about it. So we definitely fit our yeah fit our charts pretty well. And what's supposed to be your perfect love match for Sagittarius? You know, it it really I don't think it depends on the whole chart. Yeah, you know there there yeah. isn't really. A perfect match based on just your zodiac sign. In fact, I think people follow that a little too closely and miss out on a lot of options for themselves. But is there like a stay away from, like, do you supposed to be like, <laughs> I'll I tell don't you this mess much. with cancers or something like that? Like, <laughs> yeah, the sign that's one sign away from yours or five signs away is gonna have nothing in common. So if you're not up for a challenge, that one can be like, Ooh, yeah, you know, for you as a Leo, that could be a Cancer or a Virgo. Now we've seen matches that are successful in every single combination, but you want to be at a certain point in your life when you're ready for that. Like, you got to really know yourself, and they have to know themselves. A lot one of people sign apart is really one of the hardest. Yeah, because a lot of people go into relationships wanting to, you know, be taken care of or completed by the other person, and that is not going to happen. It should. You know, I don't think you should ever go into a relationship that way, but if you're at that point in your life, definitely not. How true are the these like you, you was reading in the Detroit Free Press or the Detroit <laughs> newspaper? Know our papers. Um, I mean, how scientific are those? Those are those very horoscopes. broad. You know, not there. Um, <laughs> you know, we write a daily horoscope ourselves. And, you know, within every sign, within a Leo, there are, you know, endless, as many Leos as there are, no two will probably, unless you're born in the same minute, in the same time zone, you won't have the same full chart with all the planets. So astrologers, you know, have to give you something. We try to write our daily horoscopes. You know, there is, there's accuracy to them, but they're more of a 
broad strokes. So we try to write those as like an empowering message. Something you can take with the day, not don't. Oh my God, you know. Yeah. Play the lottery or, you know. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, so my girlfriend is no, November 13th. Uh huh. Give me something about that Scorpio that. Give me some clues that Do I can take back year? to that. Uh, 90. 90, okay, Scorpio horse. Um, her past life sign is Leo. So she's very familiar to you. Mm. Um, yeah, she she actually likes a lot of the things that Leos do, dressing up, she knows how to look good, she'll look good on the red carpet with you or out, go out in style. And uh, well, she may be more of a, but then there's also a part of her that probably wants to go change the world, very like involved in activism or drawn to that, you know, which Scorpios need to have that, that to them as well. But you probably well, like that about her. You like some, a woman with a purpose. Well, How's yeah. that for her? I, I, you, I love this cosmic love beat. You know? <laughs> Can't wait till everybody on Prime gets to gets to you know get some clues to their cosmic love and everything else. Thanks yeah, for your time and uh, yeah, thank I you. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it too.